Hi guys. I've been asked multiple times my take on Andrew Tate, and I know that a lot of people have found a new public enemy in the form of this man. He's been labeled as the internet's greatest misogynist, and I just knew that I had to check out this guy's opinions for myself instead of cowing down to the popular hateful narrative. While I don't agree with every single thing this man has said, one of his controversial opinions really stuck out to me, and that's the idea that a man has a certain degree of authority over a woman in a relationship, which is something that he was challenged on by Piers Morgan in a recent interview that was sent to me. I feel like that during that interview, his point was completely missed. So I'm going to take a few minutes to explain the idea of authority in the context of relationships. Now, I understand that authority is a word that rubs a lot of women the wrong way. But here's the thing. Authority and responsibility are never separable. Women that take offense to a man being in charge of a relationship should consider the other side of the equation. What do I mean by that? A captain in charge of a ship also has authority over the ship. If his authority falls, so does his responsibility and it puts everyone involved at risk. I look at dating and relationships the same. I look at relationships as having been laid on the foundation of our biology and evolutionary history. And history is testament to the fact that men are the protectors and the providers for women and have the moral authority of making certain key decisions in life. Nothing in this world can function or survive without a hierarchy, not a company, not a government, not a military. Everything has a chain of command based on competence. Only in this modern coddled society are we even afforded the luxury of believing that relationships are any different. And I can guarantee men and women would immediately revert back to this hierarchical structure if we went back to the days of our ancestors. This is the natural order and nature is the ultimate arbiter of what works and what doesn't. Moral and physical authority are two totally different things. When a bride walks down the aisle and joins in union with a man, she has, in an unspoken manner, given him certain responsibilities necessitating that he now has the power to make certain decisions. There's two key things to remember here. First, Authority in a relationship is voluntary and it's a derivative of responsibility. If my man says don't go out in the street at 2 a.m., I trust his judgment and his responsibility for my protection. And that means that I defer to his authority on making certain decisions. I believe that he has my best interest at heart and he wants to protect me from the harsh realities of this cold world. Second, and this is an important part that most people miss. Men have to first earn that right over you by being the best and most competent versions of themselves so that they have a chance to be with you in the first place. It's a beautiful synergy between men and women that's been lost in this modern world with the social message that asserts a certain utopian ideal of equalism. Here's the flip side, and I personally can vouch for this as a woman. A lot of women are happy to let a competent man take control. We feel at ease when we're with a man who's capable and confident, someone who loves and cares for us fully. That is where his authority comes from. Most women I know are happy with this symbiotic relationship. It's a beautiful yin and yang relationship that works synergistically, but it's just a tragedy that most people rarely think that deep before quickly slapping labels onto someone they don't like. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.